Hello everyone, welcome to one of my factory reset videos for an HP laptop or desktop. This should work on either machine that way. Um, I recommend you, if you can, back up your files on your laptop before you perform this method. If you can't like your pictures, your documents, because this method will wipe those out, just to give you a heads up. And if you have password issues, this will reset your password and everything else to let you know. Okay? All right. I make sure, one thing you want to make sure is your power cord is connected, or this is recommended. You got to have a power cord plugged in. It won't work if it won't do it without it. Okay, and once you to turn your laptop on, your power button, of course, is located on this laptop. Once you're starting to turn it on, you want to hit the ESC key, <clears throat> ESC key, the escape key, located right here on the keyboard or anywhere. Usually it's on the top left corner. Right there to the escape key. You want to press that once you turn that on. Well, just once. Okay, you want to go to system recovery, F11. F11 is located right up in here usually on your keyboard. This will clean out viruses or any <clears throat> problems, especially if you got a scammer or compromised your computer too. That's why this person is here for his computer, this person's computer, because of a scammer compromised it. All right, with the mouse, you want to go down to click to troubleshoot, then reset this PC. Um, I usually want to recommend if you don't keep any files, but make sure you back up your files before you perform this method. I said this is going to remove all your files, like your pictures, your documents, anything of sorts. So this is to help you get rid of that pesky virus or a scammer that got on your computer. So, okay, we want to go, we want to click remove everything. Go to local and click local reinstall. I recommend uh, the, if you do a full clean of the drive, it'll take forever. All it's going to do is going to format the hard drive completely and wipe the partition, recreate a new partition, and all that. It'll take the longest. I just recommend just click just remove my files. Okay, click that. Okay, as soon as this pops up, go ahead and click restart. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Okay, here we go. So your next step here, make sure you select your correct uh, country, of course. Which is on mine is the United States. Click yes. Your keyboard is set to U.S. Want to stick with that? Same thing for your keyboard settings. You want to click the US to make sure and click yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Yeah. And click skip. Now let's get you connected to a network. 
That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. Okay, I recommend... How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? Unless you have a Microsoft account for this, I recommend you skip this connection before you do anything. If you don't, if you do have a Microsoft account, go ahead and connect to your network. If not, do not connect. Do not connect it at all. You want to go down here and click "I don't have internet," unless you have a Microsoft account. Just so you know, connecting to a network now could save you some time later. If you want to get that out of the way, choose yes. Go ahead and connect without setup. Click that. Next up, the legal stuff. In Enjoy. short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. Okay, cl click accept. Type what you want to name your account. Okay, type in your name of what you're choosing here. Of course, I'm doing this for person and just click next once you type that in okay now type a password, password is not required password. but if you want to go ahead and put a password it's up to you but I'm going to not put a password in click next these are the settings Microsoft recommends go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready okay do not mess with any of these settings just click accept hey look that's me Cortana can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Go ahead and click accept. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such. Click next if you can. Click next. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. All right. You want to go down here to this little planet thing you see on the bottom? You see the mouse moving pointer right there? You want to click that go ahead and uh, connect to a Wi-Fi network that you have okay. and type in your passcode of course Now you're connected to the internet now, you can have access. And when, after that, go ahead and uh, click get started on this. Complete setup, click complete setup. You don't have to do this sync data thing, just go ahead and click continue without syncing, uh, signing in. Exit that. Okay, now you want to go to your settings under start the start menu right here. You want to make sure you want to check for your updates. Click settings. And you want to scroll down to the bottom. And click updates and security. There's always updates, just to let you know. Doesn't matter how fresh your install is. And you got the recent copy of Windows 10. See, right there. There's updates. Make sure you run all these updates completely. If you can see down, your clock might be off. Your time, the time might be not in correct because it might be your time not in the correct time zone. Okay, you want to click that, right click that, go and click adjust date and time.
and come down here and you want to come to this right here it'll be pacific time u.s can can canada you want to go down here select your time zone mine is eastern standard time and there it is and after that just click sync now Your time should be correct now on your bottom clock. Then you want to go back to your, uh, go back, click home and go back to your updates. And then continue to do the up and let it continue doing what it's doing. That's pretty much it. You want to continue this and repeat this so there's no more updates and everything else. Of course, and you want to make sure after you get all the updates installed, and you want to make sure you get this one too, this feature update Windows 10 version 2020H2. You want to make sure that's installed after all these are done first. Okay. And you're going to want to repeat this process so there are no more updates. You want to keep on checking regardless. Even if it says it's updated, check it again anyways. You click check it again. I hope you find this video informative and hopefully it's helpful. Just leave a comment below if you've got any questions. Um, please like and subscribe to my video and uh, hit the not bell notification for future videos. I appreciate you watching and you all have a good day.